Today on Happiest Camper, we show you how to make this DIY pleated skirt. A box pleated skirt is one of the most common types of pleated skirts and makes a timeless wardrobe piece. It transcends all seasons and all occasions. With just the right amount of fullness with a conservative midi length, you will want to make it over and over again. It is such an easy sew that you will make several of them in no time. Let's get started. Start by printing out your pattern. Use the pattern to cut out your fabric. Once it is cut out, finish the raw edges of your skirt pieces, the shorter sides, using a zigzag stitch, four width and four length. Do the same with the short edges of your waistband using a zigzag stitch, four width and four length. This will give the edges a nice look. With right sides together, sew the two skirt pieces together at one of the side seams. Transfer the pleat markings from the pattern piece to both skirt fabric pieces using tailor's chalk, pins, or small one quarter inch snips into your fabric. I did small snips. There will be a one half inch at the end pins for seam allowance and to add your zipper. With your fabric right side up and starting from the left of the fabric, take your second pleat mark and move it to the left, resting it directly on the first pleat mark. Pin to secure. Move the next available pleat mark, mark number three, to the right resting it directly on the next available pleat mark, pleat mark number four, pin to secure. Press the pleat all the way to the bottom of the skirt. You can transfer the pleat markings to the hem to assist you in making the pleats. To make your second box pleat, move the next available pleat mark, number five, to the left, resting it on the nearest notch. This notch would be a part of the first box pleat, i.e. pleat mark number four. Pin to secure. Move the next available pleat mark, number six, to the right, resting it directly on the next available pleat mark, number seven. Pin to secure. Repeat the same steps until the entire skirt is pleated, pinned, and pressed. You should have one half inch seam allowance remaining at both ends to insert your zipper. Next, baste the pleats at the top of the skirt in place using a one quarter inch seam allowance. To make the waistband, start ironing on your interfacing. Iron the long ends one half inch towards the center. Fold the waistband in half, wrong sides together, and iron to make a crease. Now let's add this to our skirt. Unfold the waistband and place one of the long ends of the waistband right side down so that it is touching the wrong side of the skirt. Pin to secure and sew in place with a one half inch seam. With the skirt right side facing up, fold the waistband over towards the front of the skirt aligning the folded edge of the waistband to the seam line you just sewed. Sew the waistband in place 1 8 inch away from the edge. Press the waistband with an iron to make it easier to work with. Make a mark 1 quarter inch from the top of the waistband. On the wrong side of the zipper, mark where the zipper pull begins. Place the zipper face down on the left side of the skirt aligning the mark on the zipper tape with the one quarter inch mark on the waistband. The zipper tape should align with the edge of the fabric. Pin and sew the zipper in place. Repeat for the other side of the zipper. Once you've done that, sew down the remaining side seam below the zipper.
Now all that's left is to hem the skirt. Fold the hem of the skirt by one inch and then again by another one inch. Press and sew one eighth inch from the fold. Use a needle and thread to secure the zipper heads to the inside of the skirt. And there you have it. Your box pleat skirt is complete. Now you have a super cute skirt you can wear with nearly anything. Just adjust the included pattern to make these for kids. I know my girls will love this skirt. If you liked this simple sewing tutorial, be sure to like and subscribe for more great sewing content. Be sure to check out the other sewing tutorials on our channel for more great projects. Thanks for watching.